So the problem name is CodeLearn Username Validation. Let's see what the problem is. Have the function CodeLearn Username Validation string takes the string parameter being passed and determine if the string is a valid username according to the following rules. The first rule is the username is between 4 and 25 characters. The second is it must start with a letter. Third, it can only contain letters, numbers, and the underscore character. Four, it cannot end with an underscore character. If the username is valid, then your program should return the string true. Otherwise, return the string false. Okay. So, let's solve this problem. So, first thing first, we are going to take the last index. Why am I taking the last index? It cannot end with an underscore character. So to figure this out, we are first taking the last index. So the last index is going to be string dot length then minus one. We are going to get the last index by doing that. Now we are going to check the conditions. If string dot length is less than four or string dot length is greater than 25 greater than 25 then we are going to return false the first condition the username must be between 4 and 25 characters then else if, if our string dot length if our string it must start with a letter so we are going to check the first letter so the character at C H A R A T at the zero index must match start end then A to Z is going to start with a letter and it has to be case sensitive. So if it does not match this criteria. We are going to return false then we have it can only contain letter number and the underscore character so we are going to take another else if so else if string dot match now we are not matching the first character we are checking the entire string so string dot match then our criteria is going to be a to z then a to z then 0 to 9 because the numbers and then we have underscore and then multiple criteria can be the same and it has to match all the start and end now it can only contain letters we have the letters it can the underscore and uh, numbers numbers and we have the underscore here so if it does not match this we are going to return false uh, let me keep the bracket and if everything it cannot end with an underscore character now again else if string last index this last index we are going to check if our last character it cannot if it is a string uh, if it is an underscore what we are going to do we are going to return false because it cannot be underscore character now if anything else if then we are going to return true let's see if our test code runs it is giving me false now if i give this this one run code it is giving me true now run the test cases now the test cases are all done now i'm going to submit the solution Great.